Good morning, friends. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. Woo! Uh, my name is Denise, in case you've never been here before. Welcome. This is my little abode. Um, yeah, so I'm just waking up right now, and I'm about to make some coffee, but I have... My husband bought me something new, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. Why? Because really the question is why not? Oh, I hear a little spook. Okay, so I need to give you guys some updates on Spook. This is just gonna kind of be a random like update on everything. Just like some updates on stuff I've been doing. Um, you know, stuff that's going on. So I'm just gonna, this, this video is just gonna be like a, you know, random, very random stuff. Um, but yeah, so welcome if you've never been here before. My name's Denise. I make videos about a whole lot of nothing, but it's fun. And if you have been here before, welcome back. You know I love you. I love you, all 20 of you. Um, maybe someday there will be like 25, but that's okay. I'm not one to, you know, I don't really have lots of friends anyway, so... Hmm. Okay, anyway, so let's start with the first thing, which is always the, one of the most important things um, of the morning. And one of the things that I wanted to show you, guys, my husband, so I just had a wedding anniversary. My husband, I love coffee. I love all things coffee. Um, and so my husband bought me a coffee bean grinder. And what makes it so sweet is that he actually did some research um, to get like a good coffee bean grinder. Okay, so this is the one that my husband decided on. It is the Encore, I don't know, Baratza, Encore Baratza. So I don't have it plugged in at the moment, but basically beans in here, it has 40 different settings, um, 40 different grind settings to determine the size of your coffee grounds um, based on what type of coffee that you're making. This is the little on off, or like the little grind button. The grounds will come out in there. It makes very consistent coffee grinds so that like you don't, don't end up with like, I guess when, so there's not a blade in this particular one. And I'm sorry, I should have thought about this ahead of time, but it's not really like a review video. I just I'm giving you like an update and showing you what my husband bought me, but there's not a bl like a blade inside. It grinds it in a different way, which makes it more consistent. So at some point I'll show you that. So you can either use this button or just push this little button. So I have, I do the pour over Chemex coffee. So they suggest starting with, they suggest for the pour over coffee in the Chemex, they suggest starting at like a 20. I thought that the 20 was a little bit coarse, so I have been playing with the other settings. And so I'm kind of going more towards the fine grounds. The lower the number, the more fine the grounds are and um, seeing how I like that. Okay, so let's grind some beans real quick and make some coffee. <laughs> So that's on setting number 18, and that's what the coffee grounds look like. Your girl needs more than that for a cup of coffee. And it doesn't make a huge mess. I don't know how that's possible. There's a few little coffee grounds in there, but it doesn't really make a big mess, which is so nice. Oh, if you guys could smell this, and I am using French roast beans from my favorite place, the human bean. Oh, look what I just did. What the French toast. Okay, so I'm, <laughs> I just made a mess. I'm like, oh, there's no mess with this machine. Okay, lie. Somehow, I just did that. I'm gonna give you guys a few other updates. I'm gonna, okay, so while my water is heating up, I wanted to show you guys these new earbuds that I have been 
absolutely loving. Sorry, I don't know why I came so close in. Uh, they are sound core and they come in this little case to which you actually, where are we here? You charge the case and then the case itself charges the earbuds. So when you open it, you can see the little lights light up and the lights on the earbuds. If you're like me and you have a problem with earbuds fall out of your ear all the time, uh, these would be perfect because they hook around your ear. And I can't, like, I cannot have just, like, the the ear pods, earbuds, whatever, that come with the iPhone, forget about it. They just, they fall right out of my ear. Uh, the shape of them, whatever. Look, nobody cares. But if you're looking for a reasonably play, priced, placed, if you're looking for a reasonably, oh gosh, if you're looking for a reasonably priced, set of headphones. I don't know, maybe these were under $100. I got them at Best Buy. Soundcore, they hook right onto your ear. They have different, you know, little, they have different size little coverings that will come with them so that you can adjust those out based on the fit of your ear. So that's really nice, but they hook right on and they don't fall out. So when I'm taking a walk or when I'm, doing a project around the house or uh, just sitting on the couch, you know, listening to YouTube videos while my husband's watching TV. Um, no matter how you look at it, uh, they're really, they're really comfortable. The sound is really good. They, and they stay in my ears, which is the most important of all. So, sound core. So they were sitting here on the kitchen counter, so I just thought I would show them to you because they've really worked out well and I'm really happy them and I real life guys this is real life do you love how I show you my so I also thought that I would show you guys some of the progress that we've made um, around the house if you can call it that you can call it that you know what I'm not gonna sell myself short I'm not gonna just wait until everything is complete and show you then because you know what progress is messy and we're definitely messy. Anyway, so that's like some of the lumber that we have sitting out from building the shed. Uh, you know, we have we have a long way to go. Behind me is the, the hillside that still needs a retaining wall. But for now, we're working on the shed. Oh, there's baby Spook. So this is the progress that we have on the shed. So we're making the shed have a nice little porch and uh, the support posts in the middle. Well, actually all of those posts are just temporary because um, they are going to be cedar um, timbers, but for now they're just temporary so that we can put up the roof and then shingle this half. But yeah, so there's going to be a nice sized door under there so that you can, <clears throat> so that we can bring out stuff and work under the porch if the weather's not very nice. And then we'll still have this little side door over here um, to just go in and out, but that is the progress of the shed. We do already have shingles on the back half, so I can um, go and show you that. And then, of course, the temporary s side supports. Hi, baby spook! My hose is out because I was watering my flowers, and this whole section of yard eventually needs to be finished as well. So, lots of plans, but Little Spook is adjusting very well. Hi, little buddy. He's pretty much officially an outside cat living his best life. I mean, he still comes inside to play, but outside cat living his best life. Yeah, so that's the progress of the shed. And uh, now we're gonna go hang out with old Bean. And this is the progress from the back of the shed. You can see that we did shingles. You can see that we did shingles on the roof. Our house has metal, a metal roof, but we did shingles on this one because the siding of the shed is gonna be metal. So that is the progress from this side. Thanks to yours truly. Okay, so what else can I give you guys an update on? Right now I'm going to, um, 
<laughs> old Bean's house. We're going to probably run some errands. I don't know. Um, not do anything real specific. But anyway, so what else can I give you an update on? Baby Spook. So Spook is like, he spent the first week and a half in the house. Um, he would he would cry if he couldn't see you. Like he would cry. Uh, and now, luckily, my other two cats, luckily Halloween and Boo, have really taken well to him. Again, Spook and Boo have the same mom. They're just from different litters. Thanks, Kayleen. Um, so, uh, the other two, like, the two of them have totally taken to him. They they curl up with him, they sleep with him. So basically during the day when it was nice outside, I would take Spook outside and let him play outside. And I would just sit out there with him. And then the other two cats would be taking a nap. And so I would put Spook up in the cat the bed. I have a big dog bed that I let Halloween and Boo, they like to curl up and sleep together. So I would a dog bed that they sleep in together and then I actually ended up buying a new one because all three of them don't fit so I would put Spook up there he would curl up and take a nap with them or play with them a little bit and they've just they've taken to him so well I hope you guys are used to the fact that I live on a dirt road and it's bumpy um, you know so anyway they just they took really well to him and so like overnight in an instant why did I snap like that that was weird so it was literally one two days and spook would rather spend his time with them than me Friends, 
How do you feel about thank you cards? I think it might show your age, Olby. It might. She's writing out thank you cards for her birthday presents. Is mine in there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Me. Oh, and at the bottom. And that's my chair. <laughs> Which you haven't even put out yet. I know, we need to. Mm-hmm. Hi, Dash. We're going to plant some flowers. Wait, I was going to update date them on something else. The people, but I don't remember what it was. Porch? Mm -hmm. how, how crabby you were yesterday? Bean? I thought you were delightful. Can you reach in here and do the... I no, do the crabby thing. That's not the crabby one. That's no. only one. You do two. Oh. Yeah. No, no, that's not it either. It's the two like this that I can't do. Yeah, like that you do, Krabby. <laughs> that's what she does to me when I'm being crabby. Oh, Wilson. I don't think the people want to see me eat an apple. Guys, it's a new day, but I just thought it only fitting to bid you a farewell on this video. And since I hadn't, you know, I tend to just like film and not, you know, like sometimes I use the footage, sometimes I don't. So yeah, sometimes I just stop a video dead and I've not really addressed saying goodbye. And so thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.